Uh, hoi hoi everybody! Friday! I like Friday. Friday makes me happy and it's Sasha here. Hello from Sassy Lasses. And uh, hey, how is everybody today? Y'all having a good day? It is day uh, uh, five of the 21 day lose the fear of Facebook challenge with Warren Ryan. Yeah, a boo, a yeah, yeah. So uh, that's pretty sweet. And, uh, <laughs> and apparently that makes me really excited. And I'm actually really enjoying this challenge for a couple of reasons. One, every time I do another lesson, I learn something new and it makes me a little bit better, a little bit more confident, and it means I can bring you more cool stuff. But number two, I'm also coming up with all of these crazy awesome ideas and so is my husband. This one actually came from my husband today because we were talking about it. Um, so today, we found out Divi was having a huge sale. Oh my God, what a sale. Divi is like my favorite web development tool ever. Um, hi, Jackie. And so I love Divi. Divi's the best thing ever. And they had a big sale. Now, was it necessarily the best time for me to spend that money? Well, maybe not. But I, I've been paying for it every year, right? So if I want to pay for it every year, why wouldn't I just do the upgrade for annual less blah 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 like smartness here and and that is what my husband reminded me is called grabbing the brass ring now have you ever heard this before uh, grabbing the brass ring or getting a shot at the brass ring it's also meant for striving for the highest prize or living life to the fullest believe it or not guys this is a wrestling term yes I am using a wrestling term Term. Now, the reason I'm using the wrestling term is because it's actually really good. Now, I'm going to break off into a really cute little anecdote because I cannot help myself, and I love the word brass. Have you ever heard this before? Do you know where the saying, freeze the balls off a brass monkey comes from? Anybody knows that? I'd love to hear, but at the end of this, if you stick around, I will make sure to tell you the rest of this, but um, grabbing the brass ring is something that they talk about in wrestling. And, and it's really about going forward and always trying to take that shot, reaching for the brass ring, trying to get the championship, being that, that top man with the big belt, uh, you know, doing the thing. And so because we were talking about Dibby and because I have this challenge and I'm constantly thinking of things that I can bring to you guys to make things better for you, this is where we, we kind of landed. Now, as an entrepreneur, I feel that we should always be reaching for that brass ring. Because if you're not reaching for the brass ring, either you're comfortable, and if you're comfortable, well, you're not growing, uh, or you're moving backwards, right? Reaching for the brass ring is striving to do more and be more. And that's what I try to encourage everybody to be and do every single day, because that's what I encourage myself to do every single day. Uh, even on the days when my hair doesn't want to cooperate. Uh, <laughs> um, oh. Another funny little side note, my grandmother thinks the purple looks so much better and that this blonde makes me look old. Who doesn't love to hear that once in a while? But nonetheless, let's go back to talking about grabbing the brass ring. And don't forget, I'm going to tell you what it means to freeze the balls off the brass monkey. But anyway, so let's get back to it. When, it, when you look at grabbing the brass ring, you're probably wondering, what does that look like for me as an entrepreneur? Well, I can't tell you what it's going to look like for you per se, because everybody's situations are going to be a little bit different. But what I can do is explain a couple of other examples where I essentially was grabbing that brass ring. Um, so we talked about the, the Black Friday deal that I got, which I'm over the moon with, and I won't lie, I'm looking for a few more business Black Friday deals. I don't need more stuff. I need toys for my business. Just saying. Uh, but on top of that, like, one of the other things that I've done and, and I've been moving towards lately is finding more people to partner with, um, swap services, um, buy services from each other, work together on projects. And I've really been working on like growing and strengthening that network. And for me, that is part of that grabbing the brass ring piece because I'm, I'm really seeking and I'm striving to find other people who want to do more and be more with me and we're all going to reach to that next level. Now the reason I, I consider this a reach is because since connecting with these people, I've accelerated my plans again. I'm, I, I'm excited again. I'm moving forward again and moving forward is success and it's moving forward is what you need to be doing all the time as a business if you intend to succeed. And that's what grabbing the brass ring is really about. 
Another example, this 21 day live challenge. For me, that's grabbing the brass ring because I, I, I made an investment. I'm doing the course, courses, I'm doing the videos. I'm making the time to put the work in to do more, be more, and move forward. I am trying to, to extend myself past my comfort zone so that I can achieve more. And that's what I encourage business owners to do when they work with us. I mean, we work with people building brands floor up. We, we design websites. We design logos. We help people figure out the message that they want to spread. And, and this is part of where it comes from. You need to learn how to reach outside that comfort zone and go for that brass ring and really be able to take your business and yourself to that next level. Now, what I want to know, I mean, it's Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Don't you feel thankful? At least, you know, my American friends. I get the Canadians were a month ahead. But don't you feel thankful right now? And doesn't that make you feel like you want to do more? So, hey, why not take a page of the wrestling book? I know, I know, I said it again. Oh, my God. But why not do it? Reach for the freaking brass ring. What is one thing that you can do today? to reach for that brass ring, to do more and be more. Now, since you made it all the way to the end with me, I'm gonna explain my lovely little anecdote and one of my favorite things to tell at parties because yes, I am that lame. So, freezing the balls off a brass monkey. I'm sorry if you've ever heard, it, heard this before, but again, my favorite thing ever. So, I love unique phrases, things that come from weird things. And, you know, the way that people talk that you're like, wow, where does that even come from? Now, one of them for me, especially living in holy balls ass cold North Canada, one of the things that, one of the phrases that I've used a lot growing up and through my life is freezing the balls off a brass monkey. It is so cold that you could freeze the balls off a brass monkey. I use that all the time. Now, at some point when I developed, um, you know, brain cells and IQ and the ability to think for myself, I kind of stopped and I was like, well, that's like the weirdest thing I've ever heard because first of all, monkeys aren't made of brass. And second of all, if their balls could literally fall off if it was that cold, how would we ever have any more monkeys? Yes, I had these thoughts. Anyways, so I looked into it. Now, here's the story. Uh, Back when you had the big, big sailing ships, like the galleons with the big sails, um, and they were moving and they were fighting pirates and doing all their fun stuff, they had to have big, big cannons to shoot other ships with, right? Big, huge cannons, and with cannons come cannonballs. Now, here's the thing. You can't just have a cannonball just sitting on the deck of your ship because it does this thing where it just rolls freaking everywhere, and that is not helpful for anybody. So a brass monkey is this, this almost triangle-shaped device that is used to hold these brass cannonballs. Now, think of it kind of like the, the racks in, um, in pool when you rack up your balls, same idea. But these are made of brass, and because of that, what happens is when they would sail into really cold areas or they'd experience like really cold weather, what would happen is the brass would contract and the, the cannonballs would literally pop out of the device. Ergo, literally freezing the balls off a brass monkey. But I'm bumped. And uh, there's my ridiculous fact for the day. And uh, hey, right now I'm about to go, what am I going to work on next? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put together today's blog post. It's all about reframing success. I'm pretty sure I'm doing reframing success this week. My God. Um, if you haven't already popped over to our blog, sassylasses.com slash blog do it uh, blog guide to everything oh my goodness anyways it's there go to sassylasses.com find it some great topics coming I've got some more amazing stuff coming for the rest of this 21 day challenge and guys if you're out there and you're afraid of, of being on Facebook live and you want to get to this point even if this isn't the end game uh, and you want to experience more be more hey if you want to reach for that GD brass ring check out Warren's course. You will be very thankful for it. Um, I see a donkey tail. There's, there's a, there, I can't point because it's all backwards. There's a donkey tail. Um, but really, what's one thing you can do today to, to reach for that brass ring? Uh, no ball freezing, just reaching for the brass ring. And uh, I'd love to hear it. Drop it in the comments below. And if you happen to be one of those people who take that step to conquer your fear of live and you click that link below, you tell me I want to cheer with you. And hey, 
wouldn't mind doing a, a live video with you guys. That's open to everybody. I love it. Anyways, um, I'm getting way too excited for my own good. <laughs> so I'm going to pop off, but thank you so much, everybody, to those watching now. Uh, uh, Jackie, love you. You know that. And to anybody watching later, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. Check out our blog. Have a great day, guys. Happy Friday. Mwah!